So Ink Save 1.3.1 is here, bringing the biggest bug fixes and two small but indeed awesome features. I'm not going to show you guys all what's done on this update. I'm just going to show you guys the two new features and one notable bug fixes, which almost all of us has occurred. Link in the description to know more about this update. So let's get into the first feature. Right now in Inkscape 1.3.1, we can actually split the text into individual object, individual path, either the text is non-intersecting or intersecting. So let's see the first text over here, text over here. We can have this text over here and then the way to do that is go to the path, object to path, and go to the path, split path. And as you guys can see, we can turn them into an individual path right now. And if the text is intersecting to each other like this, the way to do that is we need to convert it into a glyph, an individual glyph first. So the way to do that is you select it, and then you go to the text, and then text to glyphs. And if you do that like this, and if I arrange it like this, now it's turned into an individual text like this. And now to convert them into a path, the way to do that is you need to select all of them and then go to the path, object to path, and now all of them just become the individual path. So the second feature is that we can actually disable snapping to grid lines and differentiate it with the, with the snapping to grid intersections. So I'm going to demonstrate it here with the pencil over here. And if I try to snap it to intersection, I can actually do that as well as the grid line if I turn on the snapping. Now if I open up the snapping hierarchy like this, we can actually have this new checkbox that says grid lines. If I uncheck it like this, I still can uh, handle to grid intersection, snapping to grid intersection, but I am unable to snap to grid line like this. And for the nodal bug fixes, now Shape Builder tool can generate appropriate number of nodes when finished. So I have I have these three objects over here, and I'm gonna select all of them. And then I'm gonna go to the Shape Builder tool, and then I'm gonna use the delete mode, and I'm gonna delete this part as well as this part over here. And then I'm gonna click finished. And if I go to the path tool over here, you'll notice that we can actually have a appropriate number of nodes when it's finished on the Shape Builder tool. So that's it for today's video. Here, I would like to thanks to Inkscape user, contributors, and Inkscape team for making Inkscape reach a higher level. Can't wait to see what Inkscape will offer. And my friends, thank you for your time.